Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone. I'm Mike. Today we're going to look at how to install this New England Arbor. Pretty easy to do. You want to make sure the legs are secured properly in the ground so that it doesn't blow over or tip over. You'll find a link for this in the video description for this arbor where you can pick it up from Amazon. That is an affiliate link. Using your post hole digger you can get these holes pretty deep. And I've got about two to two and a half feet of treated lumber to go in here. All right, let's check the depth. Here's my line. Obviously, well deep there. Don't worry about being a little extra deep. You can always fill in. That'll be helpful when we level this thing. All right, one of the things that I like about this New England uh, Arbors, this is the Carolina model with the composite vinyl, is the install options. Include these plastic sleeves that slip right up inside, like so. Comes up to right up here where it hits the stop. Um, and those can be helpful, for example, as you, if you decide to put this into some concrete uh, posts. They have a different option uh, they recommend, and that's with this treated lumber. You take a regular 2x4, I just took this at Lowe's and asked them to shave off just a quarter inch of the 2x4. So not much, they use their great big table saw to rip it, and then it slides in really nicely. Mark here on the depth where it hits the stop, then that leaves us two feet of length that go down in these post holes we're gonna dig. It's pretty easy to install and put together. Maybe someday I'll make a video showing how you put this thing together. But I really wanted to demonstrate how this gets installed into the ground, the technique I'm using. It's important to get this thing installed so it stays put and doesn't fall over on you and cause more problems. So if you get a friend, you can go check the fit before you get it into the holes. So getting this pressure treated lumber ready was really quite easy. This is a two by four by 12 foot long length uh, cut into three foot sections. So it was a single board from uh, your hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever you have in your area. You need to trim it down with a table saw and just cut off a quarter inch. Slide this two by four that we trimmed up. These self-drilling screws are really nice. And if you have enough extra from your assembly, uh, putting two into each post will help stabilize it. You'll want a friend to help you while you do this. Second person will make the job a whole lot easier. Arbor's obviously quite a bit taller right now. We've got about two feet of treated lumber sticking out. We'll slide it down into our post holes, and then we're gonna check the level. Right now it looks pretty skewed. So using level, it looks like this post needs to come up some and the back corner could go down some. So we'll pull it out and make those adjustments. Well, we've got a few inches of soil out of the bottom there. Let's put a little bit back in this other hole. I try and flatten that soil out a little bit before we put our post in. Tamping it down just with the, the board. Okay, let's try putting this back in. Checking the level. I think we're starting to get pretty close. I'm gonna grab a ladder and check up on the top here too. All right, I think we got it. As we fill these holes, it's important that you pack the dirt in, pack the soil in. So you wanna get a post, a stake, a rod, something, you can go in and fill it up in layers, right? So put a little bit of soil in a few inches, pack it down good, and then add another layer. If you don't do this, over time you're gonna have some settling issues and you might start to see your arbor doing some funky stuff. Well, we've done it. Thanks so much for watching. Tomahawk DIY, like the video, please subscribe and uh, watch for some more great tips and home how-to videos. You'll find a link for this uh, in the video description for this arbor uh, where you can pick it up from Amazon. That is an affiliate link. And I hope you have a great day.